Hey everybody, this is Tim. Thanks for checking out my newest video here. Um, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate sort of a, a, a vulnerability, I would say. Maybe not even so much a vulnerability, but just a, a matter of proper user education when it comes to online security. What we're going to do today is we're going to actually create a script that you can run inside a web page that will exploit ActiveX to run a series of commands or a script on the user's computer. So um, <clears throat> first thing that we're going to have to do to create this script is we're going to have to call it an HTML file. We're going to have to make the head and in the header we're going to um, create a new script. So we'll just say script type equals text or JavaScript. Did I quote that? I did. Um, and then inside the script, we're going to create a new function. And this is the same way you write Java if you're familiar with Java. Java and JavaScript are obviously very similar. Um, so we're going to do function run app. Uh, so we're creating a new function called run app, and we want it to return a parameter called which. We do a little curly bracket there to signify that we're beginning our script. And WSH shell equals new activex or active C object. And we're going to throw that argument at it. And okay. And all of that. Oops. Textpad was trying to be helpful there. Um, all of that just basically uh, says that we're creating a new ActiveX object um, which is going to run a script and it's going to perform uh, the action run on whatever what it returns and in this case what it returns is a variable called which. Um, so now uh, we end our script because that's really all that we need to do in script form um, and we can end the head as well because we're gonna put the actual um, the, the thing that's going to execute it, we're going to put that in the body. So we'll bring that up here. And now here's a little trick for you. Um, if you if you create an href link and and just sort of link to something that executes this script, the user is going to see that um, if you use href at all. So you don't want to use href because if you have a look down here, let me open up Internet Explorer. If you use href, you can see down here in this in this little um, status area. If you use href, you can see exactly what the link you're going to click on contains and where it's going to take you to. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to use href because we don't want the user to know that we're going to execute a script. So instead of using an href, we're going to use a, a sort of font, which is actually really um, really cool. Um, so on click is, is just built in. We don't need to create that function, um, but we're going to call it uh, run app. So on click, we're going to run app with these arguments. And remember, run app is what we just created right up here. So on clicking anything that uses this font, um, it's going to uh, call our run app function, which is going to run. Um, this app basically um, and then the argument that we're going to give to run app is file and I don't think that I don't think that you would actually have to use the full path but I always do so uh, I just like to be thorough in that way so we're going to use cmd.exe um, now the cool thing about cmd.exe is that it's going to accept command line arguments. And one argument that it accepts is forward slash c. So we're going to do cmd.exe forward slash c and uh, um, ipconfig display DNS. Let's say we want to save a copy of that. Um, ipconfig display DNS. Uh, let's say uh, output that to display dns.txt we do an ampersand and that means as soon as you're done with that one do the next one and the next one we want to do is let's say 
um, we want to open display dns.txt. Um, actually, let's do that last because that's going to stall it. So we'll do ampersand. What do we want to do? reg.exe. Maybe we want to modify the registry a little bit. So we'll do add hklm software Microsoft Windows run. Uh, maybe we'll say run once uh, so that the next time we start up, we'll just run uh, well let's you know add the whole um, uh, run once display DNS um, the value is display DNS and data is that and I don't know type is is that type reg D word anyway I'm just you know making stuff up the point is you can do anything that you want Okay, for now, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to do IP config display DNS. We're going to output it to display DNS.txt, and then we're going to open display DNS.txt. Okay, so it's, it's going to do like a single, and then we'll just close it off here and say that's the end of our, um, our, our run app arguments, because remember, these are all arguments that we're giving to the run app function that we created earlier. So that's done. And then remember, we're still working with a font, so we need to call it um, style equals cursor dot, cursor dot hand, cursor colon hand, I think. Um, so uh, this basically tells the system that uh, when you hover over this, use that little hand icon that sort of looks like you're about to click on a link. And on that note, we're also going to do U for underline, because it's not actually creating a link. So we have to underline it to make it look like a link. And we're going to call it... Click here to get a big surprise. I think it's with a Z, or is it an S? I don't know. Anyway. And then we'll stop the font tag we'll do like a line break just to be good kill the body command kill the HTML command and we're good to go so we'll save that and that is our whole and entire script so um, all that we have to do now is take that exploit.html run it with Internet Explorer now again they are going to have to uh, accept this little ActiveX control up here. As a, a clever individual, I'm sure that anyone who's watching this video, you included, could come up with a thousand different ways to social engineer a user into clicking on allowing locked content. Sorry about that noise. Um, you could uh, have a little game, for example, and say, uh, well, you to run this game, if you want to run the game, you have to, you know, accept the ActiveX control because that's how we run the game. Anybody in the world could be fooled by that. And then all they have to do is click on this, accept running the ActiveX control again. And, whoa, what just happened there? Command shell opened up. And that, if we didn't have something open from the script, this window would also go away. So it would only flash up on their screen for like a half a second and you can see if we take this display DNS output if we close it the script window goes away so for example if we just get rid of this and then run it again it just flashes and goes away instantly so um, that is how you run a script and remember you can replace the command with anything that you want. Anything that you can do from command prompt. You just remember to have the ampersand as your separator between commands. So you can do like cd backslash and dir and cd windows and dir and so on and so forth. Um, ad infinitum. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave me a comment or subscribe. Uh, if you're watching it on my site, click on the video itself and that will take you to the main YouTube page and there you can subscribe or leave a comment. And that site again is www.timstechtips.com or howtoshotweb.com.